everybody, Robin here. I'm going to try and film this video and not have it be 10 hours long. Um, I've already filmed it once and ran out of card space. So um, it's a favorites video. I'm going to try and pop through things pretty fast. But these are things that have been kind of like my holy grails for the last couple of months, not just October. So we will get into it right now. Um, first thing I'm going to go into skincare, I guess. So yeah, Tony Moly, the I'm Real Avocado Rich Cream. This is a 90 mil container. I got it on Amazon. It fluctuates in price from like 10 to $12, just depending on the seller. I get it straight from Korea. Don't buy it at Sephora if it ever comes into Sephora because it's way more expensive. Um, it's worth waiting like the extra day to get it from Korea. But I had, pro um, it came with free shipping, but some of them also, you can do the prime shipping. <clears throat> but yeah, this stuff is fantastic. Um, I use it morning and night. Not overpowering scent. Feels great on the skin. Just goes right in. So this stuff is really good. And if you use the Fresh Lotus Preserve, which this is like 60 bucks. I bought this at Sephora. The lady recommended it. It's great. It works, but this works just as well, if not better. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper. This is 50 mils, 90 mils. Yeah. I'm going to be buying Tony Moly again. Um, <laughs> another thing that I have been living for is this UB lip balm. I got this in like a gift with purchase type of thing from Nordstrom. It's very, very concentrated. I use the face cream before. Very concentrated camphor smell when you first put it on, but it fades really fast. This has kept my lips from being a crusty mess, even with all the liquid lipstick that I use. Um, and speaking of lipstick, I swatched several of them on my paw. So um, the first one um, I actually got as a free sample from the seller that I got the Tony Moly from, and it is a Tony Moly lip tint. I can't tell you what the color is because it's all in Korean. But this is what it looks like right here. And it is a lip stain. And it it's completely like not moving at all. This is what Benetint would be if Benetint worked worth a crap. So that's what it looks like. And I'll just swatch a little bit right here. You see it just goes on super, super sheer. It's nice and fruity smelling. I really like it a lot. And I'll probably buy a full size of even this color when um, this little guy runs out. Um, other lipsticks that I have on here, I have three from ColourPop. Um, this is Lumiere, Oh Snap, and Grunge. Um, these two are Oh Snap and Grunge are from the 90s collection that they came out with. Um, Lumiere is Kathleen Light's color. It's just a nice mauve color. I have used so much of it that um, I've ordered a second one because that's all that's left of it. And you can tell by how demolished the tube is that it lives in my purse. And this is cracked and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there's that. And then next on my hand is this right here. It looks kind of black, but it's actually super dark purple. And it's from MAC, and it's called Witch Witch. This is one of their collabs. This is an amplified formula. Um, it's some white girl that wraps. I don't even know what the hell her name is. She's blonde. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And it's not Krayshawn. It's some other girl. Um, and then this is another collaboration. This is their Viva Glam 2. The Miley 2 color, this kind of orangey red color. This is a matte formula. Absolutely love it. I have the pink one too. I think she came out with really nice colors that are... The pink is kind of like other things I've had, but I don't really know about this orangey color. That's a lot different than most things I've seen from MAC. And then this bottom one right here is a liquid lipstick. And it's part of the Gem and the Holograms line. This one's called Like a dream I believe I love all four of the liquid lipsticks in there this is just the one that I pulled out and it's this color right here there's a dark purple there's a hot pink there's this and there's kind of like a nude tone and then there's a um clear glittery lip gloss if but I'm probably gonna end up buying another set of these on the UBIB sale 
because these are limited edition and they're all fantastic and they're tiny. Um, <laughs> and then this one right here, this is actually a BH Cosmetics um, color lock. And these dry to a matte finish similar to the MAC one. This one is called uh, Blissful. I just chose one of them. I actually have six of them that I kind of rotate out. But the formula is fantastic. It dries, like I said, matte. And it's creamy and wonderful. And I've gotten a few people hooked on these. And they'll go on sale for like $3 all the time. So BH Cosmetics Color Lock um, lipsticks. <sighs> take a breath, take a breath. Whew. All right. Um, next I guess I'll do nail polish. Okay. Um, first one is the one that I have on right now. And I don't know if you can tell like the gloriousness of the hollow or anything like that. I'm getting ready to take it off because I've torn the hell out. Like I've scraped it up and everything, but <laughs> this is, I love nail polish clockwork. This is part of the fall collection. Um, and then the other ones are from D lush. I have a couple minis. This one's called glam glam squad and rubber man. And they're from the fall collection last year. You can tell I've used them a couple times, <laughs> but, um, this is the mini size you can get. And then one, this one, I actually use up the mini of this one is my favorite. This is called night at the asylum. Um, I bought the full size, but you can see it has like all those different color rounds. She makes the best jelly based glitter polishes I've ever used in my life. So that's D lush. Um, so vice, the vice palette, I did get this one. Um, I really like it. I've been using it a lot. Um, my favorite colors are this one right here, the flame and C note. So this is one and this one here. I've used it quite a bit. It's wonderful. I'm glad that's the one that I decided to purchase. Um, another palette is this gem and the holograms palette from Sephora. These two tons of people have reviewed them. I'll let you look at their reviews, but this is fantastic. And this silver color right here, I believe is called cassette gives me life, love, and everything else. It's this color right here. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been talking about the Morphe 35O palette, which I have. I love it. It's great. It's a great palette. I absolutely love it. But I think the real winner is the new one, the 35P, the plum palette. Holy crap. This color right here, I wore it the other day to work, and one of my coworkers was like, don't even talk to me. That is so gorgeous. And it's this horrible horribly swatched purple right here um yeah I really really like it I'm not going to go into the 35-0 because you know everybody and their dog has um reviewed it I also fell in love with the moon dust shadows from Urban Decay. I don't know why my brain just farted right there. Zodiac is the one that made me fall down and scream and cry, which is this one right here. And I have it swatched right there. Um, I actually have Diamond Dog and um, Urban Cowboy on my eyelid right now, um, just on the lids. So I really, really like those. Um, another thing that I'm really into are the shimmer shadows from... Uh, city color. I don't know why my brain just like, <sniffs> these remind me of the Kat Von D metal crush eyeshadows. They're the same shape. The consistency is the same. I don't own any of the Kat Von D ones, but I have swatched them several, several times in the store because I've been trying to decide if I want them, but look at that pigmentation. Look at that. And this one's called, um, beach cottage. And then this one here is Cheers to Life. These are normally, I think, $7.50 or something like that. They just had a huge sale over um, Halloween on their single shadows. And I picked up five more because they were 50% off. So I love them. Absolutely love them. Um, I also love the Makeup Geek Duo Chrome in um, Chameleon. I also picked up Insomnia, but Chameleon, this is the one that, this is the one that I'm using a lot, just because I'm totally drawn to the blue-greens, um, 
the blue green yellowy goldy shift stuff I don't know why I go through my phases but yeah so there's all that and then um, eyeliner wise I'm totally in love with the ColourPop gel liners um, I'm actually wearing this one right now which is fast lane and then another favorite of mine is overboard so fast lane is this one overboard is one of the metallic ones um, I like all of them that I have they stay on my waterline pretty well I normally weep them all out but these stay in pretty good um brrr, what else what else I don't know my cats are playing in the cat potty okay um next um I'll talk about this Charlotte Tilbury um this is the only Charlotte Tilbury anything that I own I don't think I'll ever own any of the regular makeup but um Kathleen Light said that if you want a pressed finishing powder this is the one to get if you have dry skin and it is the airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder and I got it in number two medium this shit is so expensive it's like 45 bucks but I mean that's a pretty decent sized pan um let's see it's eight grams so it's it's a decent sized pan but I've had this for two and a half months or so use it every single at least weekday and that's all that's gone away I mean it it a little bit goes a long way it's super finely milled it's probably the finest milled powder I've ever owned and it does it gives me that gorgeous finish without cracking and drying my foundation so totally totally digging on that um i've got a couple brushes here this is the ultra crease brush i really need to wash it ignore the you know plaid look of it right now but this is the best for just depositing that darker color into your crease and then this real techniques brush i don't even know what the hell this one is um this is the one by sam and nick i got it on sale at uh I actually got these two together on sale from Ulta and I use them both but this is my favorite the blush brush is my favorite although I use this for highlighter which it's probably not what it's for but that's what I use it for um I think that's all I'm going to talk about makeup wise um I have one thing and and this is like a small business that I absolutely love it's not like a small business it is a small business I need to stop saying like all the time but um, I'm going to zoom in right here and it is Pine Tree Road and there's her Etsy store um, if you live near Ocean Beach California go to the store it's in OB it's right behind the Rite Aid um, if you go to the farmers market in OB it's right near like the end of the farmers market close to Rite Aid anyway smells so divine it's cold pressed handmade soap um, it's not super cheap but it's like I think it's like six bucks something like that but there's different combos that you can do to get them for a cheaper price but um she makes body soaps which this is the size of the body soap and she also makes face soaps which is basically like this cut in half but it's perfectly rectangular and she does different scents she has a ton of different scents um she also has shave shaving um bars but the face bars i get the one for dry skin um my friend gets the one for oily skin she gets the activated charcoal one and the moroccan red moroccan clay i swear by mine she absolutely loves hers so i will link her down below really check her out it's oh, her stuff is so good so good my mom's favorite is one called mermaid um the mango one is just delightful yeah <sighs> um <coughs> excuse it <me. sighs> i need to take a breather there <laughs> i I'm going to talk about a couple non-beauty things right now so the first thing I'm going to talk about is I don't I don't have anything of it because I've completely devoured it all uh, New York seltzer is back so if you're a child that was or you know someone that was around in the 80s <laughs> New York seltzer tiny little seltzer bottles 
came in some flavors. The root beer and the peach were my two favorites. <sighs> yeah, I walked into a local grocery store and they were in an end cap. I had literally just been speaking with my mother and I said, you know, I really wish they would bring this back because we were talking about stuff that we used to love to drink or eat and wasn't around anymore. And there it was. I took a picture, texted to her. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll insert a picture of my excited picture of the four packs, but uh, they also sell it cost plus by the bottle. So, uh, I'll link their website. You can do a search to find out where it is sold. Super geeked about that being back on the market. And they're coming out with the diet soon. They only have the sugary one right now. <sighs> Next. Um, my cats. I have two of them. Um, I hate scooping cat litter. I don't know anybody who enjoys it, but, um... I decided to get one of the clean yourself cat potties. That's what it looks like right there. Um, my cats don't sleep in it like that, but I have the one with the dome. Um, you can hook it up to your toilet. You can hook it up to your sink, or you can hook it up to your washing machine um, for the water source. And then you hook it either over the rim of the toilet like they have here or in the waste drain for the washing machine. Uh, they give you the T connector and everything. Like this is how I'll show you for the washer and dryer, or I mean the washer area. Basically this sucker, you fill it up and there's, there's a good picture of it. You fill it up with these um, little beads and what it does is these are biodegradable plastic beads and it's got this scooper here that 10 minutes after the cat leaves, it scoops it and then it uses this solution. It's the same solution that that's used to clean down the tables and stuff to wash everything out. And then it's got an actual dryer, like a hair dryer type of thing in it. And it dries the freaking granules when they're done. So I have it set to clean itself 10 minutes after my cats leave the box. So they have a fresh pate all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, and it's really cool. And if, if you have another cat that goes in there in that 10 minute period, it'll reset itself. And so it's, yeah, it's really freaking cool. It takes like 35 minutes for it to completely clean if you're doing a full clean, but <sighs> it was $300 ish. Um, for the huge kit that I got, but well worth the money because you don't scoop these out. They, they're reusable and you just kind of refill it up to the fill line. So even with that and the cleaning solution, everything like that, it ends up being cheaper than buying freaking clumping cat litter three and four times a month. I was spending like a hundred bucks a month on cat litter at least. So, um, yeah, the, the sanitation solution, it's good for, um, I have the way I have it set. It's good for 240 flushes and it's like 13 bucks. So yeah, anyway, that's everything. Um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, go ahead and leave them down below. But, um, yeah, everybody. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. It's kind of the forgotten holiday, but enjoy spending time with your family. And I know I am. And I will see you soon. Bye.